Hey guys, this is my 11th Python tutorial video, and this video is going to be covering the OS module, a very important, dangerous, and useful piece of software that can in that can drastically increase the functionality of your Python program. And the OS module allows your Python program to do terminal commands or command prompt commands, depending on whether you're using Mac, Lin slash Linux, or Windows, respectively. If you have a term if you have an operating system with a terminal on it, you will most likely be able to run the OS module. So keep that in mind but before you start to import it. So we can import this OS module and then we can do os.system and it will pretty much do the com the command prompt command with this line of code here. And it can start programs, so it can do start, which can just emulate the command prompt interface by actually launching command prompt. And we c we'll just do sys.exit. But before we do that, we have to import sys. And OS system start. And one other thing you can do with OS system is actually um, you can make a directory. And this directory is going to be called test. So it starts the pr it starts command prompt and then it d makes a directory called test. Obviously, I'm not going to run it now because I don't want to create some random directory in the middle of my hard drive. So I'll just I'm just going to tell you right now that it's going to make a directory for you. So we'll run this run this okay okay apparently I did something wrong previously so um, I forgot to save it again so as you can see it launches the command prompt the cmd.exe and if you see this you will know that you're in command prompt and you can do really cool things when you're in command prompt so you can do os.system Python. It's actually um, built into the command prompt interface when you when you actually download and install Python. It will create like this little app in the middle of command prompt. So let me show you how it works. We'll run this. We'll run this one, and we will get the CMD. But then you'll see something really cool for this Python program. You can tell it's a Python program because it has this little Python little um, thing on it. And yeah, it will say Python 3.4.0 and help copyright credits or license. And this, this number will vary upon whether you're using 2.7, 3.3 or anything. But I do recommend you download the latest update. So, um, it will pretty much launch the console and then it will um, do the Python from the OS interface. And you can even do it like this. One really nifty feature that I've used in my replicator program is that I have used um, A equals input OS system A. And as you can see what I'm doing here, um, I'm pretty much um, typing in a command that um, per, that the OS module will read, and then it will execute it with the command prompt interface. Okay, so we do we get this. Type in a c. Type in a cmd command. It will read this, and why don't we do, well, let's just do start. And it will do start because it's doing OS system A. So that is pretty much it for the OS module. So um, we're going to be incorporating this into our, into our GUI in the coming videos. So stay tuned and be ready. <laughs> it's going to be really fun when you get, when you get to experiment, but like all of these OS modules. It's, it has a lot of flexibility for your Python interface. And if you have not seen my GUI videos, I strongly recommend you check it out. Otherwise, you will have a little difficulty in learning how to um, create your GUI when you look at my later videos. So 
as of always, thanks for watching, and have a good day.